Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, I will show you how to get 3D models ready for making AR, VR or hologram apps on our enabler platform. So we will follow a few steps and divide the entire process in those steps. So first we will understand how to get the 3D models ready. Now you will be seeing some 3D modeling lectures and in this lecture I am going to take a ready-made 3D model. So we will prepare the 3D model then we will upload it on enabler. So that's the second part. This will be another lecture separately. Then we will install the app. So once you upload the 3D models on enabler, you will be downloading an app on your phone. So how to copy that app on your phone and then how to install it. So that will be another lecture. And then third, we will see the AR, VR or hologram experience. So in today's lecture, I'll be showing you this part. So let's get started. These are two softwares that you will use for 3D modeling. So there are lectures that have already been posted for that. And I hope you guys have watched that. So in these 3D models, the most common file format, when I say file format, for example, for Microsoft Word, you have docx for Microsoft Excel, you have xlsx. So these are file formats. Similarly, for 3D models, you have something called as an fbx file. So similarly, when you use Paint 3D or Blender, you'll be generating an fbx file where we'll be using this to upload on enabler. Okay. So let us go ahead and see a sample 3D model that we have and how do we get it ready to be uploaded on enabler. So on my computer here, I have two 3D models. Both if you see are FBX files. Now these two FBX files in the previous lecture, I have shown you how to download these ready-made 3D models from the internet. So please follow those steps to download these 3D models. Now let us go ahead and view these 3D models and see them. So for that, if you remember our software Blender, let us go ahead and start it. So you can double click. So Blender starts off. Now, as usual, delete these initial components. So right click and say delete. Now I am going to go ahead and import the 3D models. I'm just trying to show you these 3D models here. So I'm going to say file, import and FBX. Again, I will repeat file, import, FBX. And I'm going to go to my computer where I stored my 3D models. So here I've got my two 3D models. First, I'm going to go ahead and show you the human body 3D model so that we are just checking and seeing what the 3D model looks like. So click on the 3D model and click on import FBX here. So I will go ahead and click that. Give it a couple of minutes. And as you can see, the 3D model has loaded. Now you can go to this part of the screen and you can turn the 3D model around so you can rotate it, right? And you can zoom in, zoom out by using your scroll of your mouse. So this is the 3D model that we have. I am just trying to show you this 3D model. So this is the 3D model we will use in our app. Now let us go ahead and look at the other 3D model, which is your hand. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to delete this. So right click, delete. Now I'm going to go through the same step again, which is file import fbx and say hand bones and say import fbx. So this is the other 3D model that we'll be using for our demo today. 
So basically what I'm trying to show you is how do you take an existing 3D model which is an FBX file and get it ready for enabler. So what we'll be doing is to make it ready we will be first taking the 3D model and putting it in a zip file of its own. So let me go ahead and show you the zip file process. So let me say I have this 3D model here which is an FBX file. So what I will do is I will right click on this one FBX file and I will compress it and put it into a zip folder. So you can say right click, send to and compressed zip folder. So if I click on that, it generates a zip file here. We will call it as a zip file. You have to make sure it's a zip file. And the same thing I'm going to do with the other one, which is right click, send to, zip folder. So effectively, what did I do? I took my FBX file and I directly zipped it and made a zip file out of it. Now, this is the right process. Let me show you what is a wrong process and you are not supposed to do that. Please do not do this. I'm just showing you so that you don't make a mistake. So let us say I have this FBX file and what do I do is I take a new folder. I create a new folder and I name it as hand bones wrong just for our sake. And I take this FBX file of hand bones and I put it into this folder. And now I zip this folder. So I send to zip folder. So this is actually wrong. I am not supposed to do that. Let me explain this to you again. I have to take my FBX file and directly convert it into a zip file. If I take my FBX file, send it to a folder, any folder, whatever you name, say XYZ. And then I zip the folder. This process is wrong. You are not supposed to do this. This process is right where you directly zip the FBX file. Please make sure that you only zip the FBX file directly. Do not put it in a folder. Again, I will show you the wrong step that you're not supposed to do. I'm creating a new folder here. Let me call this human body wrong. I take my human body file, put it here in this folder and then I zip it. This is wrong. Please understand this. So this zip file and this zip file is wrong. This zip file and this zip file is right. Because if you remember this zip file and this one, we had directly zipped the FBX file, which was this step. And the wrong ones were this step, which we are not going to do. I hope we are clear on that. Please remember this. This is a very important step. Now, in the next lecture, what I'm going to show you is how to take these 3D models and create an AR, VR or hologram app using our enabler website. In today's lecture, what we understood was how to take a 3D model and get it ready for enabler, which is basically we take the FBX file and then we put it into a zip file directly, directly. Again, I will repeat, we take it into a zip file directly. And then we take the .zip file, which we will use on Enabler. So I hope this was clear. I will see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.